What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're going to learn how to use the WordPress writing settings, okay? So this is one of the beginner's guide series from our YouTube channel and we already have made tutorials explaining how to use WordPress reading settings and other WordPress settings but this is one of the very first things you need to do on your site when you first install WordPress, install your theme, okay? And once you create your new site or blog. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us because it brings daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many, many more topics in our choose internet on our site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is access your WordPress dashboard. Normally you do access this from your domain slash WP admin or WP login, you're gonna log in to this dashboard. But if you're using some hosts like Bluehost, for example, you're gonna access this from your hosting dashboard, okay? So after this, review the left sidebar of menus on your site. You scroll down until you see this option right here, the settings. The items from these menus may change according to the themes you are using, the plugins you have active, but you always gonna have the settings menu. So hover your mouse over it and click on writing, okay? So after this, you're gonna be into a page like this one. And the very first and most annoying thing, if you are a blogger, it's this thing to do, the full post category. Normally, WordPress came with the uncategorized post default, but if you already have created your posts categories, so left side bar of menus from WordPress dashboard posts categories, you can see your blog categories. You can choose the default blog post category. The one that came to your post, even if you forgot to assign a category for it, okay? So, imagine that you, for example, it's writing a blog about wine, okay? So, the default category may be wine. It changed according to your business niche, but choose one and do not let this as uncategorized. It can seriously <laughs> be annoying for you as a blogger. The second setting is the default post format. What is post formats? There is a couple of layouts that WordPress preloads just like templates for your posts. For example, imagine that you want a post to display a, a gallery of images. So the default post format is gonna be gallery. But if you are using WordPress for a normal blogger platform, choose standard, okay? But if you are using something to related to audio or related to quotes or related to images, it changes according to your niche, but you can choose the default one right here. Of course, you still can change these into the posts, okay? Directly to the post one by one, okay? But just like the default post category, you can choose the best one for you right here. In my case, it's gonna be standard. Now, post via email. This is a very old WordPress option, okay? That used to appear, okay? So you can, for example, write a post from your email and send this email to your WordPress website and the WordPress website gonna publish this. I see absolutely zero needs for it, okay? Because I prefer to log in on your WordPress from your mobile browser, for example, and do the post on the WordPress itself because this can create some potential risk. So if you are using this, if you want to use this, I seriously recommend that you think twice, okay? I don't know if you want to use this or not, but it's my personal opinion talking about security, okay? So I recommend that you leave this as it is and do not change. And if you really, really need to publish your content from email, you can enter with the email server here, login name, password, and the full mail category, okay? Once again, never choose and categorize it. And the last option we have right here is the update services. I don't know if you already have received some post about some blog linking for you, some nearly published posts talking about you, mentioning you, or want to send these notifications, but this is called updated services. We can read more about this right here into this post, okay? So the common usage is the 
for the ping on metric okay so it's the ping normally you can see some services right here okay you can use every single one of them wordpress by default have this one the pingtrick.com okay but this is normally not much used as well so you can delete this or just leave as it is okay so the most important parts in my opinion are those two first options and it is you now have set your writing settings you can click on save chains in order to store your your chains and after change save it you are done right here and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question don't forget to check out our boris wordpress plugin in order to gain widgets elements templates and tools to build up your site using elementor or gutenberg or Enzo WordPress team in order to have amazing customization options for free directly on your WordPress website. In the case that you are running a blog, would like to submit your guest posts, to publish guest posts, to receive guest posts and content for your blog, just go to growth with ws.net, submit your site for free. You can be listed right here, like all of those bloggers already dated gain a link to our blog and connect with a blogger community and networking, okay? So, as a final note, in the case that you want to go premium in order to save your time while doing your site, counting on our full support, premium templates, icon assets, widgets, blocks, and many, many more pro features, just go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and go premium. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to contact us if you need anything, and we're going to be here tomorrow. All the best.